Hey there! So about half an hour ago on this very spot, I filmed an absolutely incredible interview with Nathan, who's the farmer I'm staying with. And I haven't even moved the camera. You're looking at me through the camera angle I used to film him. And we covered a lot of ground, but the highlight for me was his thoughts on wealth. Because we think of wealth as, you know, being a number in your bank account. We think of wealth in terms of money. And it's so much more profound an idea than just money. So I'm going to break a rule that I've had, which is not to show my subject speaking. I'm going to share some footage from this interview because I want you to hear what his thoughts were in his own words. When I was young, I thought wealth meant money. Then you get married and have kids and you realize that wealth means family. And then you get older and you start to think about health and other people's health. And you realize that wealth means being alive and enjoying what the world provides around you. So I guess that's what it means to me as a person. And then in terms of a farmer, wealth means being able to achieve some of those goals and have the security to enjoy some of those goals as a result of the work that you do on the farm and hopefully the success that the farm achieves. So as you can see, harvest here has started. Um, this field has been swathed and that barley is uh, there drying out to be picked up later. Um, and that's tough for me because there's not a lot I can contribute to this. Um, harvesting here means driving heavy equipment and that's not something I can do. But I did finally get a job that I could do, which was cleaning up this storage bin. Yes, this heap of rotting wood was a storage bin. It was about 50 or 60 years old, it blew over in a windstorm, and Nathan needed me to clean it up so he could take it away. So I spent about, I don't know, three hours cutting up the plywood, separating it from the 2x4s, from the metal bands, and, oh, rescuing the auger that was buried underneath. Unless you think that this job is kind of unimportant, storage bins are actually really important on the farm. Because what happens is they harvest all of the grain on the field. It all comes off all at once in about, well, hopefully a two-week span, but more likely a month or two. Um, and then it sits. They don't all sell it and ship it at once because there's no way that the rail system could possibly handle all that amount of grain all at once. So it sits on the farm and then Nathan sells it throughout the year, you know, hopefully when prices are good. Um, and so storage, you know, just something to keep it dry and fresh is pretty essential. And so when you lose a storage bin, well, this needs to get out of the way so we can put another storage bin in its place. Now, I bet you're wondering about this guy here. This is a pet project that I've been working on. This is a homemade binaural recording rig that I made. Um, it's basically a styrofoam head with two silicone ears that I bought online, because yes, you can buy silicone ears online. And there's a couple of my microphones that I've hidden inside. And what this lets me do is make really realistic recordings that let you pinpoint exactly where sounds are coming from. It's really, really good for directional cues. Um, what these silicone ears do is they duplicate our ears. And our ears are the tools we use to locate direction. Um, and so when I do a recording through this binaural setup, you can hear where things are coming from super clearly. So I'm going to let you listen to an example that I recorded just outside of my trailer here. Um, and it's this just some birds in a tree, but listen to, you can hear all the different places where things are happening. Um, you do need headphones for this to work. This doesn't work just through regular speakers. So if you have, have a pair of headphones, put them on and I'll let you listen to it. Isn't it impressive how many different things are going on in that recording? Anyway, if you want to see where this uh, takes me, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and I'll keep posting things. Um, if you're interested in the documentary, especially if you like Nathan's uh, thoughts on wealth, uh, you can learn about the documentary at thehandsthatfeedus.ca um, and you can also follow the project on Facebook and Instagram. And I'll see you next week.